Neighbors in a Flagler County community surveying the damage left behind by a possible tornado. The National Weather Service on the ground trying to make that determination. This is happening in the Indian Trails community off Beltair Parkway west of I-95. The damage is scattered throughout that neighborhood. Flagler County officials say thankfully there are no reports of injuries. News 6's Molly Reed joins us live now from Baltimore Lane. Molly. Well, Julie, right now we actually have a helicopter above us. We were just told it is the counties with the state emergency management. They are assessing the damage again. The crazy thing about covering these kinds of storms is you can have one house that is completely fine, and then you can have another house where you can just see it was just devastated. This house right behind me, this is the one that the fire department here tells me was hit the hardest. The entire backside of it right now is completely gone, basically, with a couple people are walking back there right now to do assessments. So we're not going to show you that, but you can see how just damage the entire roof is gone. What I was told is that the couple that was here was woken up in the middle of the night with this storm, heard it. Their bedroom is now gone. They ran to the garage and called 911. So again, this is just one of the several houses see, seeing this kind of damage. But the crazy thing also about this storm and this damage is the wood from this roof here, if we go over to this house over here, you can see these gentlemen on the roof over here working on it. You can maybe see that piece of wood that almost looks like a dagger in the roof. That one's straight above a woman's bed. I will go to her now. We just interviewed her um, and she explains how scary that was to wake up to. It was just like unbelievable. Like just like something out of a movie. It's like, what, what are the odds of one four by four sticking in the roof and coming right over top of the bed. This is pretty crazy. And now here's a look inside of the house. You can see that is what she woke up to. She said it was so dark. They had no idea what was going on. They just felt the pieces of drywall start hitting them in the face. They f finally turned the lights on and saw that came outside. Obviously, at that point, it was still dark. And then she said when the sun came up, Again, this is what they were seeing out here. Their neighbor across the street, house completely gone um, for the most part, except for really their garage. And I was actually able to get a hold of these homeowners and was texting them. They told me that they were taken to a shelter and that they were able to finally able to find um, you know, a place to stay thanks to a local church. But again, several homeowners in the same boat that we're going to keep talking to you throughout the day. In Palm Coast, Volusia, or Flagler County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.